Hello, my name is Maria Franco Sainz. This is my evidence number three of contemporary world. Cold War. The Cold War was a tense relationship between the Soviet Union and the United States between the end of the World War II and the demise of the Soviet Union. The reason why the Cold War started, started was because of the communism and capitalism. These countries had different governments and sooner or later, one of these had to dominate all governments. Fall of the Berlin Wall this wall was built in 1961 because more than 2.6 million East Germans escaped to West Berlin or West Germany from 1949 to 1961. The Berlin Wall, it, it ran not only through the center of Berlin, but also wrapped around West Berlin, entirely cutting West Berlin off from the rest of East Germany. The fall of the Berlin Wall happened nearly as suddenly as it rise. People started to tentatively approach the border and indeed found that the border guards were letting people cross. Soon enough people began chipping at the Berlin Wall with hammers and chisels. The Berlin Wall was eventually chipped away into smaller pieces. After the, after the Berlin Wall came down, East and West Germany reunified into a single German state on October 3rd on 1990. Twin Towers Attack or also known as 9-11. It was the first multiple hijacking in the United States on September 11 of 2001. One of the aircraft were deliberately flown into the main two towers of the World Trade Center in New York with a third hitting on the Pentagon in Virginia. The four plane never reached its intended target, crashing in Pennsylvania. It is believed that the passengers and crew overpowered the hijackers and took control of the plane. Digital Revolution The digital revolution refers to the development of technology from analog, electronic, and mechanical devices to the digital technology available today. The era started during the 1980s and is ongoing. The digital revolution also marks the beginning of the information era. The digital revolution is sometimes also called the third industrial revolution. Some of the terms that we have to be familiarized with so we can understand better what is happening around the world would be globalization, terrorism, unipolar world, and digital era. There's a lot of more terms, but in this case we're going to focus only on these ones. Globalization. Globalization is a process of interaction and integration between the people, industries, and governments of different nations, a process drive by international trade and investment and aided by information technology. This process has effects on the culture, political systems, environment, economic development, and more and also on human physical well-being in societies around the world. Globalization is not, only, is not something new. It has always been since thousands of years ago, and, it is a clear exam and a clear example of this was when they transported all of their products in boats to another countries. This example is globalization, but in the past. Terrorism Terrorism is known as violent acts or dangerous acts to human life that violates federal or state law. Terrorism is used to intimidate or coerce a civilian population to affect the conduct of a government by mass destruction, assassination, or kidnapping. Unipolar World Unipolar in international politics is a distribution of power in which one state exercises most of the cultural, economic, and military influence. This term is used to describe the power structure when one superpower dominates alone. An example of this would be the United States. The United States surfaced as the sole dominating power in the world politics, as there were no real challengers to their hegemonic position. This allowed greater room for the superpower to maneuver and to get involved in international issues that not necessarily coincide with national interest. 
Digital Era The digital era is known as the same as the time when technology increased the speed of, and market of knowledge turnover within the economy and society. This era can be seen as the development of an evolutionary system in which knowledge turnover is not only very high but also increasingly out of control of humans, making it at a time in which our lives become more difficult to manage. Why did the globalization emerge? The globalization has occurred because of the adv advancement in science and technology. The innovation in products and design has made the nations more competitive and they tend to become closer to each other. Globalization means the integration of societies. In most cases, what caused the terrorist attacks of the 20th century? Most of the terrorist attacks have a history behind it. One of the reasons is the effect of the two world wars in claim patience and hopes of nationalists through the world, and several damage the leg legitimacy of the international order and government. Difference between ide ideologies and religions have also been a huge part of this kind of attacks. How does the end of the Cold War relate with the unipolar? To relate the Cold War with the unipolar world, we should first know the definition of unipolar. A unipolar world has one dominating state that holds a significant amount of power economically, militarily, and politically. We can relate these two things because during the Cold War, the United States and the Soviet Union were trying to take everything under control by just taking into consideration their own ideas, and by taking those ideas, they were trying to make other countries make the same decisions. How has the digital era influenced today's societies? The digital era was an event that changed completely the way of communication, market, business, and more. Technology has a huge impact on society. As a matter of fact, we experience this effect on our daily lives. It has an effect on the growth of the economy, our culture, and our living standards. It is, however, important to see that this brings positive and negative impacts. Despite the fact that we cannot really know that there are a number of ways in which technology negatively impacts our society, for the better part, it has greatly helped to make our lives better.